So there's Jack Del Rio. Wait, wait, wait. So there's a dust up. Listen. It was a dust up. Okay, listen. There's a lot of places to start. Just for, just for context purposes. Hold on, just for okay. context. Just for context. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Just for context. The original tweet was would love to understand the quote unquote whole story about the summer of riots, looting, burning, and the destruction of personal property is never discussed, but this is. And he was asking why January 6th needs to be investigated, but summer of 2020 post George Floyd does not. That was on Twitter. So that was him you just heard doubling down on the dumb. Go ahead, Charles. First off, it is remarkably insensitive and just completely tone deaf to call what happened on January 6th a dust up. First off, individuals yeah. lost their lives, okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah. following that, a number of people lost their freedom, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the Capitol was invaded, property was destroyed, you had politicians that had to be ferried out of the way of danger, okay? Like, it, it's, it's, it honestly, it reeks of an individual who either does not want to know the truth about what actually happened. And there are documentaries with body cam footage of uh, officers, okay, right? Blue Lives Matter, right? Officers who were dragged, beaten, killed, okay? That is out there. It exists, okay? And it's mm -hmm. frustrating to hear someone who is on a powerful platform, who all he has to do is be knowledgeable, decides I'm going right. to call it a dust up when it most up. certainly was not in fact. And by the way, he is comparing something well, that in terms of the riots, he's comparing something that our, our country, our history, we have had a history of social, I would say, um, exhaling through riots, through a, a breaking point in emotion, okay? We have never had, not in, since the 1800s, we have never had the republic, right. democracy, Attempted to be threatened, yeah. of attempt, yeah. and, and by who? By stoked by a U.S. president, a sitting U.S. president right. at that time, who, by the way, was directing the violence toward his own vice president. So look, let's do it. Th let's do it this way. Let's there's so many problems. Let's all just pick one. So Charles's problem is downplaying the insurrection to a dust up. I know what my problem is, but uh, Shalice, you go next. Pick one problem to identify among the many <laughs> that this perfect fit for the commander's organization. He is a perfect fit in Washington, by the way, uh, the, but with this organization. What's your problem that you want to point out? The problem I'll point out is him saying, let's use the same scenarios or whatever. The, the thing is, it's the involvement of black people. That's what he is not yeah. saying. If there had been black people who descended on the Capitol with violence, oh, they wouldn't have got chanting, that close. They, we wouldn't have got yes, that close. <laughs> of course, one hundred percent. There would be; they'd right. still be cleaning up the blood of black people off off the Capitol steps. Yeah. But this is the difference: like the the equating of property, right, to human life. There were people, right. as Charles said, there were people who sense. died on January sixth. A and right. B. The, the protests in 2020 were because a man was literally choked to death under the knee of a police officer for eight minutes and mm. 46 seconds. Mm. Right. You sat there and called a dust up because people that look mm. like you got mm. in their feelings about an election because they didn't like the results of an election. None, you know, it, mm. Okay, I could go on forever. So that's mine. Go ahead. No, that, I mean, but that, that, that was that was that was mine. Mine was the false equivalency. Yeah. Like again, there are many. Like reducing yeah. the darkest day, one of the darkest days in this country's recent memory, to a dust up is offensive on so many levels. But I guess we know what Jack Del Rio's next career path is going to be. He's going to be a Republican candidate for Congress because those were like like blue like like front page Republican talking Listen. points equating an insurrection to a riot that the violence around those riots was completely overstated and overblown. The destruction, the amount of property that was destroyed was completely overblown, yeah. all in an effort to blow as loud as possible a racist dog whistle. Jack Del Rio told on himself by doubling down on that dumbass tweet. 
He told exactly yeah, what he thinks you know about what? this country and about black people. And the last thing I'll say, Michael, is if he's entitled to his opinion, I'm entitled to mine. And in my opinion, if the NFL is actually serious about its image, if it's actually serious about somewhat possibly coming close to atoning to its sins against Colin Kaepernick and those that dare to protest against police brutality against black people, if you want to put in racism in the end zone and it takes all of us, Jack Del Rio should be writing a check for a big ass fine, if not suspended for himself, because that's inflammatory, problematic, offensive language that he used, and he is representing not only an NFL organization, but the National Football League, and that cannot go unpunished what he just said, in my humble opinion. Michael, you, your turn. Yeah, and, and, and you know, here, here's the other thing. You guys have all said it so well. I mean, we can, we can really do a whole show or a couple of shows on this, but it's one, the technique too, the technique that he used, and you guys have heard this when you have let's these have a, let's have debates for people that, that aren't really <laughs> debates. Hey, I'm just asking the question. No, you're not yes. just asking the question. You've yes. got a way. You've got yes. a path that you want to go. You've got right. an answer already. Yeah, I'm just throwing out there. No, you're not. No, you're not. You've got right. somewhere you think Michael, this should Michael, go. Let me, hey. let me interrupt you for one second. One second. You said, I remember you said this. You said, you asked somebody, it, was the election stolen? And depending on the answer, you can't have a, a conversation it. with That's them. It. You can't That's even it. talk Welcome. to them. There is hey. no discussion to be had with Jack Del Rio. Do you think the election was stolen? <laughs> okay, good. All right, thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Okay, I'm out. Right. <laughs> I'm, out. Right. I'm not right. even going to have the right. conversation. But the, here's the thing, and I love this. That had nothing to do with race. He said that. It had nothing to do with race. There Which was a Confederate flag. Yes, there do was a race. Confederate flag. <laughs> there were multiple at the Capitol on January 6th. There were police officers who testified that they were called the N word constantly throughout that day. Yeah. Police officers who you're supposed yeah. to be for, right? You're, they, they're yeah. on your side. Hey, respect it. As Charles said earlier, blue lives matter. So when those blue lives didn't agree with your attempt at a takeover, you looked at their race. You didn't see blue, you saw black, and you called them an N word constantly, and they reported. At the end of the day, when everything was settled down, finally, they sat there and they broke down crying. What happened here? Don't tell me that this was not about race. Of course it was. Yeah. Be, As a if, coach, if I can just Shalice, jump in Shalice, first. Just be prepared. Yeah, we got one minute left. Shalice, then Charles, y'all y'all take the rest of the time. Go ahead. There was another tweet that he sent that kind of has gone, gotten swept under the rug. Somebody tweeted to Jack Del Rio that he was essentially, you know, according to the defensive coordinator of the commanders, white people storming the Capitol because they were upset about an election versus black people begging for agents of the state to stop killing them when they've done nothing wrong. And Del Rio quote tweeted and responded like, yeah, okay, and put um, an emoji of like a Pinocchio nose, like this person didn't know what they were doing. It's, the whole thing is just bad. It's, I don't, you know, he's saying the players, if they want to say something, they're not going to say anything. They're young. A lot of them are young players. He holds their career in their hands, essentially. They're not, what are they going to say? Charles, real quick, last word. Four hours at the Capitol. Watch that document. People should watch it and then decide for themselves yeah. if that was just a dust up. Hey, thanks for watching, brother, from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.